Santa knows who has been naughty and who has been nice, and just how naughty you have to be before you're bumped off the nice list. Well, there's a big old secret we just don't know, but some believe that Santa crafts a homemade gauge each and every Christmas time. I'm going to show you how to make your very own niceometer gauge, and hopefully we'll be on the nice side when we're done, fingers crossed before Christmas, as this is a quick and easy activity to do with children of all ages. All you need for this is your template on paper or a piece of thin card is fine, some scissors, make sure you have an adult nearby to help, you'll need brass split pin fasteners, these pins you can get them from stationery shop or from a craft store, you need a sharpened pencil, we're going to make a hole with this so it needs to be really sharp, you'll also need some blue tack to put on the back when you make the hole through your gauge. You'll need some sticky tape. And then finally, all the decorations that you need. Glitter, pom-poms, glue to attach them with, the more the merrier. First things first, for this activity, you'll need to print out the Niceometer template from Santa's STEM Workshop online. It's all free and quick to download from the link below. Okay, now in order to make this gauge, we're going to use a net. No, not the sort that are used to catch fish, or those dodgy ones that your nan hangs up at her windows. A net is a flat pattern that folds to make a 3D object. And there are different activities on our website to help you make a range of different shapes. So once you graduate from this activity, you can try out all the others. Next step, you need to make it look wonderful. It's your gauge, so you can decorate it to make it unique to you. We can colour it in. We can go over the words, nice and naughty. We can draw some pictures on it. And you can spend as much time as you like doing that. So I had a go at one earlier. And I've got a few examples here. We've got one that's got glitter all over it. You can use tissue paper to stick on it and then put sparkles on it. Whatever you want to do. When you've got it looking as you'd like, cut around the gauge carefully using scissors. Again, it's a bit fiddly and cutting can be quite hard around an edge, so it's probably best to ask an adult if you need. Carefully chop around your gauge, taking your time. We're going to chop it out so that it will look like a beautiful round gauge that you can put on the mantelpiece. Lovely. Okay, you might need to ask an adult for help with this bit because you need to cut the middle of the page, this V, we need to cut and we don't want to come in from the edge, taking your time and perhaps folding it to help you and make a nick. I put mine on card so it's a bit tricky and thick. We're going to chop so that we get a nice V shape. It will provide some stability when it's standing up. There we go. Now, next, we need to make a hole in the middle of the gauge. Get your sticky tack and we're going to place it at the back, directly behind where the hole is. Stick it down there. Next, get your sharpened pencil and we're going to push the point through from the front into the sticky tack to make the hole. We're not going to push the pencil all the way through though or the hole will be too big. I've mounted mine on card, so we'll see if the... Yeah, it's worked. We're through. Perfect. Okay, now we've got the hole in our gauge, we also need a hole in the arrow. So take your arrow and pop it over where the hole in the gauge is, and then we're going to also make a hole in there. And we're ready to go. So now we have all of our pieces ready, it's time to attach them. Grab your pin and we're going to push it through the hole in the arrow and then through the hole in the gauge to attach them. Through the hole in the arrow and then through the hole in the gauge, removing the blue tack because we no longer need that. Now we need to split the pin out and push each leg of it sideways. Lovely. Next, we need to make it stand up. So we need to fold the gauge along the line uh, and use the V we cut earlier to make it stand up unsupported. Give it a nice fold. and press down and then the V can pop up and you can fold that the other way as well. Now this is the bit where we could use a little bit of sticky tape to hold it in place and pop it across the back. 
put it on the back of your semicircle, stick half of it down, pop it on the V, over and then down the other side. It should hold it up and in place. Or there's another method that we've got with a here's one I made earlier. And what you can do is you can leave the V flat and not use it and you can use a decorated kitchen roll that's chopped in two. So there we have it. A lovely niceometer gauge ready for Christmas. And don't forget, if you want to make more festive treats for around the home, why not check out our snow globe video? You can make your own using a recycled jar and a few items from the cupboard. So visit Santa's STEM workshop on the link below to find out more. Have a lovely Christmas and a happy new year.